Hi everyone, it's Vivine from VivineBrand.com, empowering you to ditch the daily grind and create your digital lifestyle of freedom. I'm an online marketer, entrepreneur, and um, my channel is all about entrepreneurship, growing a business online, building your laptop lifestyle, and mindset, mindset training. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on so you'll see when I upload more videos if you like this content and be sure to give me a like as well if you enjoy this content and be sure to share this out as well to somebody who might benefit from it. So let me ask you, how do you avoid being overwhelmed so often every day? How do you deal with this um, sort of stuff? So this is what we want to talk about. Four steps to help you avoid overwhelm or to deal with an overwhelming situation. The first one is, first of all, before I go into that, let me talk about the difference between being overwhelmed and burned out. When you're overwhelmed, you're in the moment. You probably have, you know, a few things to do and, and you're like, which one do I tackle first? Do I, do I answer the phone call first? Do I answer the email? Do I answer the text message? And everything is going on in your head. So you're overwhelmed. You feel like you're boxed into a corner and you're not sure how to, you know, prioritize your task. When you're burnt out, you've been doing uh, so many things for so long and after a while it's like you can't do it anymore. You get so exhausted. So that's the difference between being overwhelmed, it's in the moment, and um, burnt out is you know over a long period of time and you, you just fizz out at the end because you have no more fuel to go on. So that's the difference. So the first tip is to avoiding overwhelm as you go through your day is to begin your day um, being organized. Have a snap, a snapshot of your day, of what you want to accomplish. You know, from A to B to C to D, whatever it is, four, three, five things, um, you know, that you want to accomplish. So you want to have a snapshot. You want to block, block out times that um, you will do, you know, A, you will do B, you will do C. So you have different time slots that you will allocate to each time. And if you want, you can set your a timer you know, for the number of minutes that you want to attack this thing, right? When you first get up in the morning, pray if you want to, or meditate, whatever you do, to get you in that center of, of you know, of the day so you can go through um, the day in a calm manner. And I, you know what to expect. But it doesn't mean that the day is going to go smoothly, but at the same time, you have an idea of what to expect and how you're going to, you know, attack each task, how you're going to go through each um, assignment, right, as you go through your day. So begin being organized. The second thing is, okay, so you have your task. You want to have smooth transition, transitions between each task, between each project. So you have project A and you want to go on to project B. Give, your, give yourself some time, some, some time to clear your head before you're going on to, uh, to another project. So you want to have different, uh, a little downtime, if you will, you know, a small window of downtime between each project. So you can clear your head, you can get more centered again. Even if you have to get up and walk around the block, go outside, get some fresh air, you know, so you get start your, your thinking, put your thinking cap, cap on before you go on to the next thing, instead of jumping from one straight into the, into the next, right? Um, number three, give yourself time to catch up, right? So you're going through the day, you might not be able to do some things. Give yourself time to catch up at the end of the day, right? Um, to make a to return a phone call to answer the email to connect with some people on social media whatever it is to finish the content for that webinar um, you know to build your your funnel your capture pages all that whatever you do in your business on a daily basis you want to give yourself time to catch up at the end of the day and it's totally fine because sometimes you do forget you sometimes you don't um, the, the time you expect one thing to go, it goes over the time. And so, yeah, give yourself time at the end of the day to catch up on the things that you need to, that you didn't get to finish during the day. And the fourth thing is practice being calm. Um, you can't be just going through the day all hearing scare and, and, and just, you know, in a state of panic at all times. So you have to practice to calm yourself down, you know, so you can think right um because if you're in a constant state of panic then you'll be confused you want to be the leader you want to be the one that will say okay this is going on i need to take charge i need to be 
in control of this. I need to be in control of my thoughts. I need to be in control of my attitude and my action because you have the choice of how you react to that situation and depend on how you react to that situation will depend on the outcome. Actually, it will depend on how the, the, if it's a good or bad outcome. Think of it as, as um, I'm referring to healthcare again. So for example, there's a code blue and the code blue is when a, uh, a patient is in, in cardiac uh, problems, cardiac distress, the physician in charge has to be calm. If the physician in charge isn't calm, then he or she cannot, you know, delegate. So you get the IV, you get the drug, and so on to the to the other people who are involved in the code. And so you have to have that center. You have to have that center of, of uh, I don't I don't know what to say. That state of mind that you're in charge that you are going to respond in a different way and so others can follow you when they see that how calm you are they realize okay yes i can be i can be calm in this no matter what's going on i can be calm so i can think so i can think through and do what i need supposed to do so i just want to um share these four tips with you that will help hopefully will help you in um you know not getting so overwhelmed or with the overwhelm um, uh, time comes, you know how to deal with it, how to go through your day without being overwhelmed too often. So if you got value from this, leave me a comment. If Feel free to share to someone who you think will um, benefit from it. And again, subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button and turn your notifications on. And by the way, if you enjoy this content and you'd like to have more content, head over to my blog at vivianbrown.com. So my blog at vivianbrown.com and check out more valuable content that I have over there. So thanks for watching and I will see you on another video.